Welcome everyone. You want to update to the brand new iOS 26. The first thing we should do is back up the device. If you don't want to back up, I'll leave timestamps in the description so you can just skip forward in the video. This is recommended though. So let's open up settings. Then you're going to select your name at the very top. Inside of here, you're going to look for the iCloud option. Inside of this one, we're going to look for the iCloud backup. And here, we just need to set the uh, toggle to turn this one on. And then once this one is on, you should see backup now. Just tap on this one, and we just need to wait for this to finish. Now, free iCloud accounts have 5 gig of total storage, and that might not be enough to back up all of your data. So alternatively, you could use a computer to back up your data. And in order to do that, if you would like to back up on your PC, just use the iTunes software. Google iTunes is Apple made software. And on the Mac, iTunes is built into your Finder app. And you just need to connect your iPhone to the computer. And when you do this, you should see a trust message. So you're just gonna tap on trust here and then enter in your passcode, it should be good to go. If that message doesn't appear, just unplug, replug the iPhone, and then you'll be good to go. If it asks you to allow the access to your iPhone, just click continue. That might not always show up. You should now see the iPhone on the left hand side right here. And we'll just click on this one on Finder. The location is slightly different. And you can see manually backup and restore. And we have the backup now option. We also have automatically backup iCloud. What I want you to do is if you remember your password as well, click the tick to encrypt local backup and encrypt the backup because this will also back up your health data, your passwords. And so, you know, if anything goes wrong, everything will be restored. If you don't do this, it won't be restored. I'd recommend setting the same passcode as your iPhone itself or just use 1111 or 1234, and then you'll be good to go. And then you have manually backup and restore. Just click backup now to initiate the backup and to restore backup at a later date, just choose restore backup right there. We now need to check if we have enough storage to update to iOS 26. If you already know you do, just check the timestamps and skip forwards. But let's open up our settings. From here, you're gonna go into general, and then you're going to head into iPhone storage. So you can see I have 233 gigs free. That's more than enough. There's going to be no problems there. You're going to want to have at least 13, 14, 15 gigabytes of free storage. The update itself only takes nine gigs, but it has to download the files, extract and install. So it's going to be a little bit more. If your storage is low, so you see your storage available left there is a really low number. Then you can see your you know, apps that are taking up the most amount of storage. You might want to delete them temporarily. And also you might want to go into your photos, delete any photos you need. If you recently deleted photos or files in the files app, but it's still taking up a lot of storage, just double check your recently deleted folder because your photos, your files in the files app, they all need to uh, be permanently deleted through this recently deleted folder. So just check there as well. We can now update to iOS 26. So let's open up our settings. Let's go into general and then software update and let's check for iOS 26. Now, if it doesn't show up, just wait maybe five minutes. And there we go. We can see iOS 26. This is the stable release. And before we update now, if iOS 26 isn't showing up yet, then what you need to do is first of all, understand that iOS 26 releases publicly 15th September, these times on screen. Now I'm recording this video a day early on the 14th of September. So if you want to get iOS 26 stable release right now, all you need to do is just log into Apple developer website, free to do, don't need to give Apple any of your money and then you will have this option. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. When the stable release is out, I'm just going to cut this part out of the video. So all you do is you go into head to developer 
www.apple.com. From here, tap the two lines on the left and then tap on account. And you just wanna sign in with your Apple account. After the sign in, you should need to agree to the Apple developer agreement. So what we need to do is you can see Apple developer agreement right here. Just confirm the checkbox, you see this, and then click on submit. It should be very obvious if you have this option. If not, you've already done this in the past, but you do need to do this once. You don't need to pay for the £79 or $99 subscription. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Back inside software updates, you'll see iOS 18 still, 18.6 or 18.7, and you can just tap into beta updates, which will be a new toggle enabled after signing into Apple Developer. And then you can just choose the iOS 26 developer beta, might have to tap it multiple times. And what you see right here is the stable release for iOS 26, the public version, which we're all gonna use. So once you see iOS 26, just check your battery level. You can see mine is quite low. And regardless of your level, I want you to just connect your iPhone to the charger. Uh, if the battery percentage drops too low, the update will not install. Now, once we hit update now, the update will start to download. So the good news is you don't need to stay on this update screen. Just make sure your settings app remains open, but you can go do whatever you want. Or alternatively, you could just leave your iPhone on this screen, but the update does start to install in the background. When iOS 26 is you know, first released, there's gonna be a ton of people downloading the software at once. So the firmware might take a bit longer than normal. So just patiently wait for this one to complete. Now iOS 26 has downloaded, just tap on install now and let's patiently wait for iOS 26 to install. There'll be some stuff that we do after the install, some tips and tricks, so keep on watching. After updating to iOS 26, there's gonna be a couple things you need to know. So first of all, you might have seen, but my iPhone 15 Pro, so it's not an old iPhone, but it's currently lagging after the update. And so the first thing is you're gonna notice uh, the iPhone's lagging. It's also very hot. Like this iPhone is very toasty right now. So you have overheating, slow performance, and you're gonna expect way worse battery life. That is the bad news. The good news is this will go away after 72 hours. So after updating from a major software, going from you know iOS 18 to iOS 26, it has to re-download all of the files. And what's happening right now is that your iPhone is being optimized in the background. All of the apps are reloading, all the services are refreshing. And until that happens, your iPhone will be a little bit laggier than normal. However, once all of that, it's called app propagation, the technical term. Once that is all completed, then you should be good to go. And you're gonna have a really smooth iPhone experience. Another thing as well is you'll notice I don't have the liquid glass on my home screen icons. So if you do want that, just long press on the empty space and then tap on edit. And then you should see the customize option, tap into customize. And you can see clear right here. This is clear for the liquid glass effect. And you also have the tinted liquid glass effect, which does help with visibility of the app icons. So you can see right there, the iOS 26, Public release one will be a little bit buggy, so don't worry about it too much. But again, give it 72 hours. Most of the problems you experience right now will be resolved. And one final thing, YouTube are not recommending my videos like they used to. So if you wanna help me out, all you need to do is, and it really mean the world to me, if you hit the like button on this video and just left a comment saying, thank you, this video was very helpful, or this video helped me out. And if you have any questions, maybe this video did not help you out, just leave them in the comment section and I'll try my best to get back to you. It's really mean a world to me if you hit that like, left a comment. It really does so much for the YouTube algorithm. Take care, bye-bye.